So are they cautious? with yoga mat. Oh, yeah. She's my butt. <laughs> well, you know. Well, my lack of butt. I was going to say, so you can't freeze if you don't have it. Oh. <laughs> Tell me about, we're not here to talk about my booty. All right, fine. <laughs> it's a good looking gear here. Getting there. Yeah. Probably, oh, should be heading to final sealer, probably about first gear. Oh, sweet. That's great. All right, so I got a question about Gia's again. Yeah. <laughs> so are they Porsches? No. A Carmen Gia is not a Porsche. No. It's, it is called the poor man's Porsche. Yeah. I'm joking when they came out because of the styling, but um, they have a lot of similarities with the early Porsches, and then it's all, all, all show and all show and no go. Or for <laughs> Texas people, um, all hat and no cowboy. Or yeah, all hat, no cattle. Yeah. No yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's it was just a sweet sports car that wasn't really a sports car because it had no performance. Okay. But it, it, they they're fun little cars to, to do the twisties on. Yeah, they are. That's that's pretty cool. Is this one going to be fast? Or are you getting a stock car? Uh, yeah, we're going to do about a hundred horsepower on this thing. Okay. So we'll see. What's the highest horsepower you've heard of on a Porsche? Uh, sorry, on a Carmen Ghia. That's VW Power. Hmm. Yes, and then also no. Um, okay, yes would be probably the 3.5 liter, or the 3.2 liter punched out bus case. Oh. Um, I've seen the motor, I've never driven one. Uh -huh. But, you know, it's, it's just, it, that's a big motor. And then there's some turbo stuff out there that are fun to watch. And, uh huh. Uh, some nitro bugs. I used to really Ooh. enjoy going to the races. Yeah. And so some of these guys um, out of California and, and the other side of the co East Coast, they would have some really cool, um, really quick cars. They're purpose built. They're not. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're just for the track, right? I mean, it's just for the track. Yeah. It's they, they'll they'll go and like take the motor apart about every, every after every five or six runs. <laughs> so just nice. Yeah. So it's like, you know, there's an equation for horsepower and longevity. Uh huh. A higher, you know, horsepower only has a certain number of hours that it, it'll, the parts will last. Right, okay. And the higher the horsepower, it must be out. Yeah. Or the horsepower. The, the so the Crazy power. Uncle Floyd had some way of talking about that. I can't remember what he said, but it was kind of like horsepower is like, do you want it to go long or do you want it to go fast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. So, what uh, what are you doing here? To, uh, this is Riley's '68. So right now, I'm working on the engine bay and the rear balance. Okay. So this got shot in high build this week. Mm-hmm. And now I'm starting the sanding process. So it's like the roof is already done. Um, yeah, that know, looks smooth. That's all the way to 400. Fantastic. Um, like you guys saw on the last episode, but I'm just slowly working my way around. I'm not as far ahead as I'd like to be. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's it's We've had some other crazy stuff going on in the shop. It's just crazy, just normal work stuff. <laughs> normal crazy. It's, it's like 
yesterday or the day before. Uh, see, the Tuesday that we came back. Um, I'm sorry, the Tuesday before Christmas. Yeah. I kept getting interrupted by phone, by email, by stuff like this, and I, you know, have my notifications off. But yeah. It, it's, it's still when I get get a ping on my phone, even though it's on silent. Right. My music goes, goes you know, drops down and comes back up. Takes you out of the groove, huh? It, it does. It kicks me out of the groove because it's like when I can't focus on what I'm doing, I just go, ah. <laughs> what was that? Ah. <laughs> <you screenshot? laughs> For today. There's the thumbnail. Oh. All right. So, so what's next on this after you? Final sealer. Mm -hmm. So that's a white epoxy. Yeah. And once the white epoxy goes, then we go back and we sand it again, um, and bring it down to 600. Okay. And then it goes in for a uh, it's color repair. All right. So if I can not break through into bare metal, if I can just leave a little thin layer of primer, otherwise I've got to shoot a little bit of primer. Yeah. Way. Well, that's, seal everything up. that's great. All right. Very cool. So that's what I'm doing on this. I've already got the secondary panels done. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, since uh, Robin says we did good this year, I get to buy a couple tools. So All right. This is my masking machine that just came in today. Ooh. So basically just a place to put paper and tape together. So. <laughs> Living on the edge, huh? Living on the edge there. All right, tell me about Cabral's bus. What's up? Uh, I believe the 110 power side is finished. Oh, good. Okay. So, it's... Why is the camera over here? I'm getting both of you. Right, yeah, just right, right, that's right there. <laughs> hey, I'm the one behind the camera. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, you guys. I should have got his feet there. That was... That okay, was you can, you can do that. There you go. See? All right. Come on, goofball. All um, right, so 110's done? 110's done. The shore power's done. We haven't tested it yet, but we did, we did a, a, basically a beams test on a, um, oh, I forgot what it's called. A uh, continuity check. Oh, okay. So, the next part is there's little bits and pieces in the interior, and then it's going to go over to Shannon, and Shannon's going to start figuring out how to do kick-down linkage with twin dual welders. Okay. So, good luck with that. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we'll have Josh up for the competition. And then yeah. the other cool thing is this is a prototype I'm working on for my new roof lights. Oh, yeah. So I had um, LED rope lights when they first Ooh. came out, and I built nine panels. Yeah, on. it and looked then, awesome for a little bit. It was kind of expensive. Yes. And it took, was time consuming. And the bulbs kept burning out. Yeah. And, and then they go yellow. And right now, it's like, I, I can't even see them. Ugh. So, so you're trying again. Trying again. So we've been testing these LEDs in there from China. Everything's from China. <laughs> and I've had, oh, I've there had we go. one burnout, and these have been running continuous, well, not continuously, but during hours of operation uh -huh. for probably a year now. Oh. So that gives me hope, and these are rarely available. Yeah. They're fairly inexpensive. That's way better. So, and I remember you, like, with tape and all kinds of craziness oh, yeah, yeah, trying yeah, to build was, that other thing. Doing, like, the, that was, I had to glue down the strips and yeah. the and, and it's like, it was a pain in the butt. It was a good idea. It looked good. It, yeah. The room was extremely It just didn't bright, last. But, yeah. yeah. All right. So. Oh, that's nice. That came uh -huh. out good. Yeah. I've got a couple runs in it. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I can't cut it until next week because I did a really heavy layer on it mm -hmm. I was trying to bury all this. So oh, I'm yeah. probably going to have to run this one more time. Very shiny. Um, so it'll probably get another coat of clear. Okay. Um, no LEDs on it, no nothing, so it's just the speakers. Nice. All right. So what else do we have going? You got Shannon. All right, Shannon, what are you up to? I know uh, you're cleaning. Right now I'm doing paperwork. So oh. Mr. Barnhart's car. All right. Uh, that sounds got, good. Got stuff in for his 12 volt conversion. Great. Yes. All right. And this uh, is his engine. Yep, that's his engine sitting down there. We'll, all right. Uh, tins and all just went to powder coat, so we're waiting uh -huh. to come back. Fantastic. And waiting on his uh, kingpins come back from being rebuilt. Okay. So he's he's this car is already restored to to a good point. Yeah. We needed a little TLC, so we're fixing them up. That's great. Yep. All right, Spook. What's going on with the Zwitter? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> all right. When's it coming back? It's coming back on probably next week. Good, okay. Um, Darren's got to start doing his, and I just ordered, um, since we can't run heater boxes with the cool ride suspension, because we've got the sissy bar and mm -hmm. the stiffy bar is what he calls it. <laughs> <coughs> we can't run them We're running 12. heat. Mm -hmm. 
So we figured our solution is some inline electric, and they're very small and they're ceramic. So that's okay, cool. great. Uh, and Gazo? Gazo, we're still waiting on the short axles to come in. We solved the problem that we had right. um, with higher fitment into the wheel well. We were off by half an inch. Mm. So we're basically going to get shorter axles that we buy from Swayway. Okay. So we're just waiting for those now. Great. Johnston? Johnston is almost done minus this. Oh, yeah. Um, but he's going to pick up par. Are you going to paint it for him? The yeah, I'm paint new it. deck lid? It's, it's out of gloss right now. So, oh, okay. So is that a stock color? Yeah, no, but I did a color sample on the computer and uh, matched it, and it matches pretty good. Okay. That's great. I've got some stuff on deck here. And for those of you who own a diesel truck, you know what this means. Okay. Seven gallons of oil. <laughs> Is pretty much done. We're going to give her a bath. Um, we did find out when we started doing testing on it. Uh, Shannon found it, and uh, is the the discs are actually warped. Oh, okay. So we're going to go ahead and straighten that out for as soon as we get those parts. Those those actually should be in the next shipment we get from Mad Swan Parts. Okay. And then my old new old <laughs> new old Dakota. <laughs> my old new new old that. Yeah. So I don't have a name for it. So if you guys have a name, oh yeah, maybe it, yeah, it, name it. the truck. So just to let you guys know, the engine in this is a five nine swap. Uh huh. So this engine came out of a wrecked RT that I used to own. Uh -huh. In fact, I actually drove from um, Arizona to here, <laughs> towing my son's little ultimate Honda or something. A and little green truck? No, 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 no. We bought that one. Oh, okay. Um, he had a little car that he had, we, we took with us. Uh -huh. So that was on a trailer with a lot of our stuff loaded up on the first section of the move. Uh -huh. So we had a lot of stuff. So you got and history then, with this truck. Oh, well, not this truck. And then I bought a replacement <laughs> truck after Roger wrecked, was in a wreck in it, picking up parts from Ed Swan Car Parts. <laughs> um, and bought another one and did a motor transplant. Uh -huh. And I never really finished, finished doing the truck and then I ended up doing a, a sale mm -hmm. um, just because I wasn't really interested. I was going through a divorce and I just didn't have the inclination or the willpower to build anything at that point except for just keep the business running. Yeah. And so I, I ended up selling it to him and then I ended up uh, about a back. month ago I repoed it. We need a name for a truck. Okay. So it's a 2000 RT which is never a thing. 2004 Dodge Dakota. Mm -hmm. Completely murdered out because mm -hmm. it's spook. Yeah. And um, it's got a 03 RT motor in it. Okay. And it's also chipped and tuned and it will smoke the tires off. <laughs> this, the, this is the most expensive truck to get through tires because you get through a lot of them. Yeah. Are we yeah. going to go back to streets instead I'll of nubbies? I'm going to go to a street tire, mm -hmm. but maybe a little bit taller because it is a 4x4. Four four. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the noise of the tires that, that the yeah, so put it's put on. So we've been doing a little bit here and there. Got to do a headliner in it. Got to clamp the inside a little bit. We've mm -hmm. been doing lights um, and then fixing some of the little weird bugs. You gonna paint it? I was thinking about it. I've got a, I've got one of my stock blacks that I've been collecting mm -hmm. blacks for, which is just basically all the black paint I own. Yeah. After is it blingy? Some of it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it, it, it's about nine or ten shades of black. <laughs> so. All right, that, that works. Be fun. So that's it. I need a name for the truck. We need, uh, we need something. Smash the like button, like, subscribe, subscribe, all that. Yeah, yeah. So, thank you guys. Glad you have a good holiday. Bye.